It's Jeremy, and you're watching Geek TV. If you love computers, tech, and home lab tinkering, consider clicking subscribe and the bell icon so you never miss a beat. Let's containerize all the things. And when I say all the things, I mean mostly Docker stuff, websites and stuff like that, things you can run in Docker. So today we're going to be taking a look at installing Turnkey Core so you can install Docker on that and any application you want. Now, I've seen some people out there over the last few months before uh, Proxmox 6.2 was released talking about wanting templates where they can get, uh, let's say, Nginx Proxy Manager, for example, in a container so they can isolate it away from all their other uh, VMs and hosts and such like that. You can do that now with version 6.2 and a little thing called nesting that allows you, that gives you those permissions to run Docker inside of an LXE container. So let's get started and do that right now. So diving right in, we're going to go ahead and download. The first thing we need to do is download the turnkey core template. So go ahead and select the storage where you want to download that and then click templates at the top. Now we're gonna run a quick search for core, which is the, we're gonna be using the turnkey core. And just so you know what turnkey core is, it's a DB and GNU Linux with batteries included. Like it says here, it, it comes with SSH pre-installed. So this is a Debian based Linux version that will allow you to install Docker on it. Very lightweight, uses very minimal resources. So this is what turnkey core is going forward. You'll select this and then click download in the corner there. So once that's done downloading, get back with me. It might take you a couple seconds or a couple minutes, depending on how fast your internet speed is and all that. And then we'll go from there. And once it's done downloading, you'll click create CT in the upper right corner. And we're going to create a LXC container using the template we just downloaded. I like to put my containers in the 300. So I'm going to do 301 since I'm not using that number. Uh, for the host name, I'm just going to put test one. You can put whatever you want in here if you're installing Docker or uh, if you're going to be putting, obviously we're installing Docker, but if you're going to be using this for whatever, like Nginx Proxy Manager, you could put NPM or whatever. Um, a super secret password. This is going to be the password you're going to be using for the CLI when the installation is complete. So don't forget that. And we do, this is very important. You want to make sure you untick unprivileged container because we want privileges. That's very important in order for this to work. Then we'll click on template and this is where we downloaded the core template to. So that's where, that's the right one we want to have selected. And then for the template, we're just going to grab the core one that we downloaded and then click next. For the root disk, this is another important uh, thing to, to note here is if you use remote storage for your hard drive space, you won't be able to take snapshots because this can only be done on local LVM. So leave that how it is if you wish. If not, change it to local. We'll go to CPU and I'm just going to put four cores. You don't really need four cores, but uh, it, this really depends on your hardware as far as memory and CPU goes. I'm just going to give it two gigs of RAM or thereabouts. For a network, I like to do DHCP. Some people like to fiddle around with static and set the IPs manually, but I'll be letting the router take care of that. Plus the turnkey does give you the IP address after the setup is complete. And for the DNS, I just put the router gateway and then click confirm. So this is important. You don't want this to be selected down here where it says start after create. And we're gonna leave that unticked because there's one more thing we need to do before we start this up. So go ahead and click finish. Do not tick that, click finish. And we'll go ahead and let this install. And once it does, we'll get back with you guys. It should only take a couple minutes again. It's pretty quick. Then we'll get back to it. Well, we have a task okay. So it looks like everything went okay. Let's go ahead and close this dialog. And this is our container right here, 301 test. But there's one thing we need to do before we start it up. So make sure you didn't start it up. We'll click on options here. And then on features, you wanna make sure you double click that. And we wanna tick nesting. So what this allows us to do is basically put containers inside of a container. And that's okay. It works great. So go ahead and click okay. And now we can go ahead and right click and start the container. We'll click on console and this will start the turnkey process and installation. The login will always be root and the password will be the password you chose when you set up the container. So I'll go ahead and put that in. So this is what it looks like when you install turnkey core. What I do is I do the skip, skip install method. So I tab down to skip, skip, and then hit enter on install. And this will go ahead and install turnkey core. It'll give you your IP address. This is why I don't mess with static IPs when setting up the containers because it'll show you what your IP is anyways, right there. 
there it is. And what's really cool about Turnkey Core is the fact that it comes pre-installed with SSH. So we can go ahead and clear this out by pressing Control C and clear it out. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and run some updates and upgrades. So we'll do apt update. And another thing to remember is you are always root when you're on Proxmox. You don't have to do sudo. Then we'll do apt upgrade and let this run. So when this screen comes up, just press enter on your keyboard. We're not setting up a post fix configuration. Go ahead and click enter and then it will continue the installation of the upgrade. Okay, so the update's done. Let's go ahead and apt install docker.io. Go ahead and click yes on the keyboard. Let that install. We'll go ahead and fast forward through this as well. So Docker's done installing. One thing I do want to mention is all of these instructions will be available on the homelab.wiki. So be sure to check out that website. That's where I store all of my show notes and more project goodies over there. So let's go ahead and clear that out. We want to go ahead and do a couple system CTL commands. We'll do enable Docker. And this will enable your Docker instance to start up when your system is rebooted. We will do a system CTL start docker. And then we want to check the status, so we'll go status docker. Make sure it's we got a green light there. We got a green light, so let's clear this out. And now I'm going to install Nginx Proxy Manager through a docker run command. So let's go over to the home lab wiki and grab that code. Okay, so here is the docker run command for Nginx Proxy Manager. I'm going to go ahead and click the copy icon and go back over to the console. And then all you have to do is right click and paste that in there. It's going to go ahead and pull down the image and dependencies. And don't forget, once this is done for Nginx Proxy Manager, you're going to need to go into your router and forward port 80 and 443 to the IP of this container. Now, if we open a browser tab and go to port 81, now that this is finished, we should see Nginx Proxy Manager. So let's do that now. But I don't remember what the IP of this container is, so I'm going to go ahead and do an IP ADDR. And our IP address is, wow, it's dot .2. So let's go to that IP port 81 and there it is loaded up and when you first log into nginx proxy manager you know it's going to be at admin at example.com and then it's going to be change me as the password and you have successfully installed nginx proxy manager in a lxc container on proxmox so there is that so let's hop back over to the proxmox dashboard and take a look at the container resources to see what it's using so we'll click on test and then click on summary and then we are using 347 megabytes of two gigabytes. I could probably take this down to one gig if I really wanted to. And that's with Docker and Nginx Proxy Manager installed on this container. Keep in mind, you can use this as just single apps. So if you want to isolate your apps, or if you're the type of person that likes to put all of your Docker apps on one Docker container host, you can do that as well. Since I do a lot of tinkering, oftentimes I will restart my Docker host. So that is one reason why I split them up. So if I do have to restart my Docker host, all of those apps and services that would be on one host wouldn't all go down at the same time. So it's a good reason to split them up and use LXC containers. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found it useful, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Click the bell icon if you want to know when these videos drop. It'll send you a push notification to your phone, letting you know when that happens. Check us out on Discord. That information and all of the other links and things are in the description below. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.